Hello, what's up, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got season one of our LSU rebuild, reload, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, man, you see that we have already started. We are ranked number four in the nation. Got a big time game versus um, Mississippi State. So I'm going to give you guys a rundown on what has been going on. First, we can go to the recruiting. We have, you know, not signed anybody yet. You see that we only have 24 current targets right now because I want to try to get some of these guys locked in. Some of these guys that I have been covering. 10 in the first part of this rebuild, right? So anyways, man, we got this quarterback. We're in the lead, so I've kind of cut down his points right there. We also have this cornerback. We, we, we're we doing our thing so far in recruiting, man. We're doing pretty good, okay? We're doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty, pretty. So we got some safeties. Our needs were defensive end, tight end, I believe kicker. I believe those were our team needs. I'm going to check it out right here so you guys can get a better picture. But yeah, tight end, center, kicker and then on the defense side of the ball defensive end and free safety um adams our star safety he's actually a strong safety so i wanted to actually you know get some people in because he's going to be gone also want to get a running back because you know we're going to lose for that we're also going to lose the receiver so want to get some receivers in town as well not really doing too well when it comes to receivers this where was it? Tight ends, I mean. Tight end, that might be the one position where we might have to get a couple of walk-ons to fill that role because I don't know if we're going to be able to pick anybody up. It's kind of, it's not late in the season. We could probably get somebody in the offseason too, but just for right now, it's not really looking that good. So in week one, we had a big time matchup versus Wisconsin. Wisconsin, they're struggling so far, sitting at one and two, oh and one in conference. We're five and zero, oh, two and zero oh in conference. Number four team in the country. We put a whooping on them, twenty eight to twenty three in week one. In week two, we had UAB. We beat them twenty seven to three. Week three, we had Southern Miss, twenty eight to six, handling business. In week four, we had our rivalry game versus the Auburn Tigers, aka the other Tigers in the SEC, and we whooped them 34 to 17. Week five versus the Georgia Bulldogs, who are struggling 31 23, and that's why we are sitting pretty at 5 0. Big time matchup though versus 4 0, number 20 in the country, Mississippi State. Win again to that very shortly. Hopefully, we can get a win, man. Hopefully, we can get a win. We're going to check out the top 25 polls real quick because the college football season is starting to heat up as you can see the matchups and stuff like that oklahoma's number one then clemson ohio state then lsu stanford houston alabama michigan ucla Notre dame iowa tennessee usc florida state michigan state old miss baylor tcu texas mississippi state north kakalaki miami oregon california and then florida to run out the top five and then to check out the Heisman watch, Leonard Fournette is the number one back or number one Heisman candidate so far on the Heisman watch. You see his numbers right there, what he did versus Georgia, 20 carries, a buck, 29, a TD, two receptions for 36 yards, and a TD through the air. I mean, it's Leonard Fournette. I mean, what, what else could I say? He beasting and feasting. All right, you guys, so we beat Ole Miss, not Ole Miss, excuse me, Mississippi State is the team that we beat, but then we took an L to Florida. So Florida, they're four and one, we are six and one, but we still have a higher rank than them. So hopefully this loss doesn't hurt us too bad, but losing to a conference opponent sucks nonetheless, man, because it could affect our SEC standings and our chance of getting to the SEC championship game. But you know what? Hopefully it doesn't affect us that bad, but now it's time to move on to our game versus Ole Miss. Hopefully we don't take back-to-back -back L's. All right, you guys, so we finally get our first commit, Danny Hart, 72 overall, halfback. That's big, yo. <laughs> That's freaking big. Our first recruit, and it's a halfback because you know we're going to lose a Fournette. We're probably going to redshirt him depending on how well, you know, I play with him. You know what I mean? Because, of course, we got uh, Geis. So I'm excited to play with him full time and stuff like that. But that's our first recruit that signed on the dotted line. So that is a big deal. And I do believe that we ended up beating uh, Ole Miss, I want to say. So hopefully we did. We are ranked number eight in the country right now. So I'm guessing that we beat them. Yes, we beat them 38 to 16. That is good. That is great. All right, so our next game is versus FCS South. The Pirates, Southeast, excuse me, the Pirates. And then we have a bye, and then we take on Alabama. Alabama has two losses on the season so far, and they are sitting at number 12 in the country. So this should be a fantastic ball game. That's the game I'm going to play. And then, of course, we're going to play the um, ball game as well, jump into the off seats, and that's going to wrap up season one. I plan on doing four seasons of this, possibly five, so we can have a whole, our first recruiting class, you know, come in, graduate, all that good stuff, man. I'm excited for this. I'm having fun already, man. So if you are, make sure you 
you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Make sure you hit that like button and let's keep rolling. Alright y'all, it is now game time, week 11, 2013 season, number 7 versus number 8, we got, oh my gosh, LSU taking on Alabama, I'm excited for this matchup, real quick so nobody is wondering, you know, what we're doing or anything like that, house rules, Heisman, 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 we are going to play on 5 minute quarters, I know that the game is going to go pretty quickly, but we also have to do a bowl game in this episode, so I do apologize for anybody that's, you know, want longer games i do apologize but hey we got to do this quickly i'm trying to do one season and one episode okay it's not easy man it's not easy but anyways let's make this thing happen that i passed i think i passed it did i pass it no i didn't pass it where we at where we at there we go man play game baby let's get it so not only another bowl game but if we get to the sec championship game we're gonna play that one too so y'all can get three games and one episode whole season so again i do apologize for the five minute quarters but it's kind of necessary because, again, I ain't got it all day, man. All right, come on. Got the pocket. Good job. Good job. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to sit on my feet with this kid. Oh, he was open. We go three and out. Get him. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Big hit. Third and two. What up, OJ? We're there. We're there. Look, we're there. Yes, sir. Right, second and one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No! Fournette! Come on, bruh. You got to hang on to that rock. Got you. Oh, big hit. Get him. Good tackle. Another three and out, but now they're in field goal range. Kick is up. Kick is good. All right, so Alabama takes a 3 nothing lead. I'm going to trust you, bro. Best player on the team. I'm going to trust you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. First down. Hang on to that ball, Petey. Come on. Woo, get out that tackle. Good job. Good job. All right, here we go, man. Second inches. Turn up field. There you go. 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 That's why you're the best back in the country, baby. Touch down LSU. Fournette to the crib. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Caught in nothing but traffic. Wiggles his way up out of there. There's nothing but pure speed. Let's go. All right, man. Shutting down the ground game is what we do here at LSU. Let's keep it going, baby. What, what up? What up? What I say? Let's go. Woo! Knocking these fools out. All right, LSU defense. One more stop. Get the ball back for the offense, baby. Oh, did they, oh they going to run it? That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Now, this is where we didn't want to be. Third and ten with our quarterback. That's not the most accurate, to say the least, man. But here we go. Get about the pocket. Oh, no. No. Catch Tomlinson. Dang it. Knew I should look somebody in the block. All right. Well, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Right, we, we need to get our quarterback's feet wet because I, I don't believe that we completed the pass so far, man. So we're going to run, run a little screen pass. There it is. There it is. Breaking a tackle, falling forward. I like it. Yep, right there. Good pass. Getting the tight end involved. There we go, bruh. Get some confidence with our pass again. Yep. Pure speed. Pure speed and power, baby. Nice run. There you go, guys. Get up in there. No. Good job, Jeter. Let's go. Y'all got to hang on to this ball, man. Come on now. So they reviewed the fumble. He didn't fumble. So we're back here at the 41-yard line. Here we go. Get that block. Good job. Good job, Fournette. Good job, baby. Get off me. Right there. Slant route. Beautiful catch, bruh. Let's go. First and goal inside the five. Yup. There it is. There it is. There it is. Walking in the end zone, baby. Take the lead right back. Let's go. Big time coverage sack right there, baby. My man, Devon. What a catch, but a one yard short. Woo. <laughs> one yard short the first down. Third and one. Dang it. Hit the wrong button. Almost got the sack. Oh, we got a pick. Let's go. Let's go take it to the house. Take it to the house. 
I freaking play a lot, but it doesn't matter. My boy's coming up big. Let's go. Let's go. Got blockers in front. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Woo, what a pass. That's what I'm talking about, kid. If you could pass like that every freaking snap, we can't be stopped. All right, here we go. Kick is up. Kick is good. That's what I'm talking about, man. 17 to 10, hitting in the overtime. I mean, not overtime, halftime, fool. All right, defense. Here we go, third and five. Nope. Pick that. Oh, this jumped the route, my man. You could have pick number two. Get him. Get him. Make him. Oh! Woo! If he doesn't slide, he's to the crib. Huge play right here, y'all. Third and eight. Alabama has it. They pick it up. It's going to be first and goal. If we stop them, they got to set up for a field goal. And the way our offense is clicking, I don't know if they're going to be able to stop us. Make the tackle. Short. Let's go. Fourth and inches. Kick is up. Kick is good. All right, man. 17-13. They still need a touchdown to beat us. We about to go get some points. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, man. Another first down on the ground. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. All right, here we go. Second and seven. Dupree on the slant. Let's go to the field. First down. First and goal. First down and second down. So here we go. Third and goal. Give it to Fournette. Touchdown, baby. That should be ball game. Let's go. All right, you guys. That's going to do it. We win the game. We beat our rival. It should be clear sailing. Smooth sailing all the way to the SEC championship game and possibly, you know, maybe the maybe, you know, the national championship game. Who knows, man? We probably got an outside chance of getting that. But we played pretty well on the road. I'm happy about that. Let's check out the stats real quick. All right, man. So Harris was 7 of 8 for 101 yards. He only had that real bad throw, you know, I mean, in the beginning. Rushing for net 19 carries, a buck 22. He played out of, outside of his mind, really and truly. Fournette also led the way with receptions with three. Then as we look at the defense side of the ball, our man Key, he had five tackles, five solo tackles, and that gave him the lead for the game. Now that's going to wrap up this game. Let's jump right back into recruiting and see what happens the rest of the season. All right, you guys, we've got two games left. In the season so far, we got Texas A&M, Arkansas, and then hopefully we can find ourselves in the conference championship game. So both teams are ranked. I mean, it's the SEC. What else is new? So we got a big game versus Texas A&M and a big game versus Arkansas. So checking out recruiting, we've had a few changes. I believe we have this tight end. I don't believe that we had him before. Maybe we did. Don't really remember. But Kyle, we are now in front of him because I was worried about not having any tight end sign with us. But Kyle, he looks like he is leaning towards coming to our school. Then we have this kicker. I'm recruiting two kickers. I wasn't planning on recruiting two kickers. But hey, I got to get at least one in camp or one, you know, in spring training, spring practice, whatever you want to call it. So we have this guy. We're, we're in the lead over Alabama, which is a big deal. We also have this defensive end. We're slightly ahead of Georgia. Then we also have this other defensive end we're behind Iowa by 925 points we need defensive ends we had another one I believe it's Smith and it looks like Smith is going to end up not coming to our school we were actually number two and now we're even behind Syracuse so it doesn't look that good for us to get Johnny Smith all right you guys so we ended up losing to Texas A&M 14 to 26 that sucks man um Check out some of the team stats real quick. We only had 199 yards of total offense. 9 of 22, two TDs through the air, not bad. 110 yards came through the air, actually. So it looks like our running game really wasn't able to get going. Uh, zero TDs, which I like, 40% completion percentage. Of course, that's not ideal. You know what I mean? Fournette had 78 yards. An average of 4.4 out of 5 yards really isn't that bad. So, I mean, I guess maybe their offense was too much to handle. You know what I mean? I mean, clearly we really didn't get too many big plays in the passing game. You know what I mean? So, that sucks, man. But we got one more game to try to turn our season around, try to get as high as we can. Because right now, I believe we are ranked. We're no longer ranked number eight. I believe Arkansas is ranked a little bit higher than us. No, actually, we're still eighth. Okay, cool. So, they are 12th in the nation. We are eighth in the nation. Big time win would help us so i'm hoping that we can win this last game so as you can see by the headline 
we lost again. Battle in Death Valley, the Razorbacks edged out LSU. That sucks, man. So now we're number 14, the Razorbacks are 16, and I doubt that we make it to the SEC Championship game. All right, you guys, so the conference championship week looks like this. In the conference USA, you got Tulsa versus Southern Miss, SEC Championship game. You got Ole Miss taking on Tennessee. And then in the Mountain West, you got UNLV taking on Boise State. Out West in the Pac-12, you got Stanford and UCLA. Virginia and Clemson is the game of the week. ACC Championship game versus number 24 in number two, Clemson. Then you got Iowa and Ohio State, number one in the nation, Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship game. And then in the MAC Championship game, you got Northern Illinois at Bowling Green. So the question on my mind, and the question on your mind, to keep this kind of realistic is, will we have a letdown? Because I was expecting to be in one of the bigger bowls, you know what I mean? I know a lot of these players were expecting to at least go to an SEC championship game, be fighting for that national championship. And because we're in the, the taxslayer.com Gator Bowl, I just want to know, is this team going to have a letdown, man? I hope not, because I would love, I would love, to win a bowl game in year one. All right, third and seven, here we go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Man, that's not how he wanted to start this bowl game, going three and out. Get him. All right, third down, third and inches. Let's go, man. No, make him pay. That's not how you make him pay, man. Oh, no, he's still up, good job. <laughs> I thought he was going to stand up and take it to the crib. Get him. Oh, no. Good job. All right. Third down and goal. We got to get a stop. Hold him to three. Let's go. Mission accomplished. All right. So we're down by three, but it's okay. Yep. Come on, Fournette. Come on, baby. Dang it. Get out that tackle. Take off. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Play smart. It is now third and 15. We can pick this up. That would be huge. Under pressure. Can't get away. And we can't recover the fumble. Oh, my gosh. This first quarter has just been a nightmare. Come on. Good job. We got to keep playing behind the line of scrimmage, man. All right, here we go. Third down and 10. A big third down and 10 so far in the game. New. No. Dang it, man. Get him. Let's go. Huge sack. Making the third and 11. Pick it. Woo. I needed that interception from him, my man. Kick is up. Kick is good. It is now 6 0. Great block. Let's go. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Let's go. Let's go. Touchdown, LSU. What a return. We got a couple of beautiful blocks. Made one man miss. And new. Got my hopes up for nothing. For nothing. Here we go. There it is. Let's go with a move. That's what I'm talking about. First down. Nice run after the catch, bruh. Yep. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Wow! He whooped that man off the line of scrimmage so pretty. All you had to do was hit him in stride. That's a touchdown. Wow, man, what is my guard doing? Hit the man that's right in front of you. Okay, I have to look at the replay. It wasn't the guard as a tackle, but still. The tackle, what are you doing? Hit the man right in front of you. All right, kick is up, kick is good. Low scoring game here in Jacksonville. But you know what? That might favor us, even though Michigan State has 47 seconds. And they get the ball first. I believe they get the ball first in the second half. Oh my gosh! Yo, they ran the ball on on third and ten, and we can't stop them. Now he tries to buy some time. Oh my gosh! Right, third and two. 
Dang it. <sighs> Working in the slot gets open. First down, Michigan State. Let's go. That is poor clock management. We survived. They should have called a timeout. Did something, but they let the time tick off the clock. I will take it. I am not mad at all. Alright, here we go. Why is 40? <laughs> Why were you running the wrong way at some? Uh, Alright, here we go. Seven inches. Come here. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Adams, again. I believe that's like tackle number nine for him. Yeah, tackle number nine. Wide open. Nice read. He has all day in the pocket to throw. That is an easy pitch and catch right there. Let's go. Good job, Gilmore. Let's go. Oh, my. Bruh. <laughs> he had him hit like a yard after the line of scrimmage, but he muscles his way forward. It's like an eight-yard gain. Stop them. Nope. Touchdown, Michigan State. About to be a two-possession game. Come on. Come on. Run, baby. Run, baby. I take that return. Great job. Yep. Oh, get that block. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Good job. Woo. What a pass. What a catch. Let's go. Here we go. Second man. Take off. Touchdown, LSU. That's a late hit, sir. You big meanie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Yo, that's unbelievable, man. That's unbelievable. Woo, big hit. Oh, man, Adams, he came to play today. He came to play today. 11 tackles. Get him, stop him. Dang it, man. That's going to be game. Unbelievable, yo. Well, you guys, that is a tough way to end the regular season. We lose with our last two regular season games. We lose the bowl game. We lose Fournette. We lose Adams. This team was going to look different next year, man. Hopefully, the guys we recruit, especially our, our, our JUCO transfers, can come in and have you know some type of impact. Maybe Harris will no longer be our starting quarterback. Who knows? Because, again, sometimes he is just not the most accurate quarterback, to say the least. But congratulations to Michigan State. We got to come back in a big way, man. I want that SEC title. I want a national championship. We got about three, four more years, man. So we got to get it done. So let's take a real quick look at our season stats. Uh, based on QB rating, our man Justin had a better one. But the numbers favor our man Harris. 15 TDs, 13 INTs. Not the best ratio to, <laughs> ratio to say the least. Our man Fournette, he had 1,300 yards, averaging 5.8 yards per carry. Also had 12 TDs. Our boy Geis, he only had 68 carries, but he averaged 4.9 yards per carry, and he had a TD as well. Receiving numbers, Dupree, who is no longer going to be with us, 51 receptions, 693 plus 7 TDs. And then on the defense side of the ball, our man Key, he led the way with 80 total tackles when we look at sacks our man Devon and again he will no longer be here he had five and a half sacks this season and when it comes to interceptions our man White he won't be there Beckwith he won't be there Adams he won't be there so LSU is going to look a little bit different moving forward all right so the final polls have OU sitting at number two and you can see right here is nothing but Buckeye Nation they beat Clemson 28 to 21 in the national championship game. So Ohio State, y'all done did it again. All right, man. So two schools are hiring, Stanford and uh, Auburn. But it looks like David Shaw will probably go back to Stanford. And then Auburn, you know, is open. But you know what? Nah. <laughs> we LSU Tigers, not Auburn Tigers, baby. All right, so these are everybody leaving. My gosh. <laughs> How can people want to transfer to? Look at all the people that want to transfer. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these number one picks, though. Third round pick. Fifth round pick. Graduation. Man, oh, man. LSU, we were stacked, y'all. We were stacked. 
Alright, so after my best to try to convince these guys to stay, we convince one person, that's a receiver Ferguson, to stay. So everybody else, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. Alright, so recruiting is done. Everything is done. Here goes our top three quarterbacks. We got Harris, 85 overall. We got our man Justin at 84 overall. And then we also got a freshman who is 79 overall. We got we got, we got quite a few freshmen. We got quite a few freshmen. Um, oops, my bad. Quite a few freshman quarterbacks as well. So we're going to redshirt a bunch of them. Our man Williams is actually the number one back. A senior. Let's go, man. 232. He's 93 overall. Man, Geis is 89 overall. So everybody's going to get some playing time, though. Especially at, at the receiver position. A lot of people going to get playing time. He's going to skip fullback. Uh, we got our man DJ at 86. Ferguson at 83. So receiving core is really not that bad, man. I'm liking it. 80s. Nobody's over 90 overall. But you know what? I would definitely take that. We have this junior. He is 90, 82 overall. And then we got a couple of freshmen or one freshman then a receiver we're gonna mess with all that we're gonna have nothing but tight ends in there don't worry about that then that left tackle 87 overall left guard 94 overall centers 86 we look at right guard at 87 right tackle at 93 that's what i like to see left in we got 82 overall right in 85 overall defensive tackle 88 87 85 and 85 Outside linebacker, 83 overall. Middle linebacker, we got 84 overall. We also got the outside linebacker, my man, Key, at 99 overall. Big time right there. At cornerback, 90, 88, 86. We also got um, 85 and then also 83 at the bottom. Free safety, 81 overall. And then strong safety, 85 overall for our starters. And again, we're going to mess with all this. We got a freshman kicker at 79 overall. Not bad. Punter, sophomore, 73 overall. Again, not really too worried about that. Starting kick returner, we got Geist back there at 99 overall. And then punt return, we got Geist back there as well at 99 overall with that 96 speed. I'm loving it. I'm freaking loving it, man. So here is a look at our schedule, man. We're going to be taking on number 25, Miami. In the first game. I'm excited for that, y'all. Then we got Louisiana Tech, Mississippi State, Tennessee, who's number four. Golly. Number 21, Florida, Louisiana, uh, Monroe, I believe that is, right? Monroe, I believe that is. Um, anyways, we also have USF, then Texas A&M, Alabama. Then we got Ole Miss, Auburn, and then Arkansas. So hopefully this time around we can get into that conference championship game. We are ranked number 13 to kick things off. I went through, I red shirt some of the guys that are lower overall wise in that position that we have a lot of depth. So don't worry about that. But you guys get to pick. If you're still here, you are amazing. And you get to let me know who you want to see us play for our regular season matchup. So it could be Miami. It could be Tennessee. It could be, I don't want to face Alabama again. It can be Alabama. If you guys really want to see me take on Alabama again, I'm down. Just got to let me know. But this is the schedule, so let me know who you guys want to see me play. And until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until next time, peace. Have fun.